the Lord established for him a covenant of peace and made him the prince, that he might have the dignity of the priesthood forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who to safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, filled Pope St. Pius X with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude, graciously grant that following his teaching and example, we may gain and... How many they were on the surface of the plain, how dry they were. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones come to life? I answered, Lord God, you alone know that. Then he said to me, Prophecy over these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God of these bones, See, I will bring spirit into you that you may come to life. I will put sinews upon you, make flesh grow over you, cover you with skin, and put spirit in you so that you may come to life and know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been told, and even as I was prophesying, I heard a noise. It was a rattling as the bones came together, bone joining bone. I saw the sinews and the flesh come upon them, and the skin covered them, but there was no spirit in them. Then the Lord said to me, Prophecy to the Spirit, prophecy, Son of Man, and say to the Spirit, Thus says the Lord God, from the four winds come, O Spirit, and breathe into these slain that they may come to life. I prophesied as he told me, and the Spirit came into them. They came alive and stood upright, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of Man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They have been saying, Our bones are dried up, our hope is lost, and we are cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live, and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Teach me your paths, my God, guide me in your truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. 
you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Maybe I am supposed to be wearing red. We'll have to start over. A young fella named Rob, Rob, violently abused by his stepfather, one point thrown through a window, shattering it, of course. By the time he was 14, had moved out to escape what was happening at home. Not able to support himself, of course, he turned to crime and started petty theft got caught at 16 stealing a car and so was punished, locked up for a bit, juvenile, when he got out at 17, graduated st from stealing cars to robbing banks, robbed 16 of them in four states over 120 days, and found to be a hopeless cause, sentenced to 20 years, tried to escape, so they put him in the supermax while in prison, joined the Aryan nation, hopeless. A year away from getting out, Ron woke up one day, and for some reason, the thought occurred to him that he had made a mess of his life, and really did feel like he was a hopeless cause, and had nowhere to turn but Jesus. And how wonderful that answer to a hopeless what next? Because that he is the answer. And how wonderful when that answer comes to mind. In the first reading, God gives Ezekiel the vision to share. All the exiles have to hear this. And so, a bleak, arid plain filled with bones as far as the eye can see. And the situation for the exiles looks hopeless. God alone knows whether life can be salvaged because only Creator God could possibly bring life there. Appearing seven times, Spirit. The word Spirit is the key word as God commands Ezekiel to speak the word of the Lord that will bring Spirit into him and through him to those bones. The Spirit will connect them, cover them, and make them live. And finally, the exiles are promised they will be restored through God's own spirit. They shall live because God is faithful. God can create life out of worse than nothing. Where there is or has been complete and utter hopelessness, God enters and speaks a new creation. And so what before could not possibly be the Lord God then makes something new. Wonderful for everyone with some particular difficulty, struggle, temptation or failing to call to mind something good and something new.
In the power of the Spirit who helps us to pray rightly, we ask Almighty God to renew us and the face of the earth. May the Pilgrim Church of the New Millennium, under the leadership of Pope Francis, proclaim its love of Christ with fidelity and humility, we pray to the Lord. May the peoples and nations of the world accept God's call to live in holiness and peace, we pray to the Lord. May those afflicted and tempted be strengthened and assisted by the grace of the Spirit, we pray to the Lord. May the hungry and the homeless, the abused and neglected, know the consolation and assistance they need, we pray to the Lord. May all who have died be welcomed to eternal life by the Lord of life, we pray to the Lord. For St. Leo Parish, the intention of this Holy Mass and the special intentions in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. God, who sends the Spirit to be with us, we welcome your gift. Hear our prayers, unleash your spirit again on your longing world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with kindness our oblations and grant, O Lord, we pray, that following the teachings of Pope St. Pius, we may celebrate these divine mysteries with sincere reverence and receive them in a spirit of faith through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Douglas our Bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of a world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but whom may say the word, my soul shall be clean. Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. 